No, if that was, if, that's my whole, that's what I'm so angry about. That's what I'm so angry about. That's what I'm so angry about is these people sat up there doing all this to me. And then after the, and then after I sat there, uh, watching all this stuff, you know, they had, they sat there doing all this to me, uh, creating all this terror and problems and, 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 and disrupted my whole fam disrupted my whole way of life and my families and all this stuff. And I'm sitting there watching all this damn stuff inside the house. And I'm thinking, why do they do this to me? They're, they're just white. They're regular white people in Michigan. Why would they do something like that? brought me into a courtroom and sat there and lied at me and, and, and put me in a newspaper and said I was paranoid and all this stuff after they destroyed my name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a conspiracy to commit to do something like that, to do something like that to me and, 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 and do all that, create all that confusion and sit there in a courtroom and frame me and lie at me and stuff. Boy, that's, that's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. saying what the hell good is the government what the what the hell is going on the go the government's the government's terrorizing citizens pretending to be a deadly sicilian mob mob group and scaring the hell out of people and then sitting there afterwards following people around with lights framing people for crimes they didn't commit and then sitting there pretending like it didn't even happen when it's all okay. over with let me give you the reality huh our president as well. Uh, technically, technic technically, the mob could sue the government. That's that's uh that's that's actually a this a some sort of discriminational case. You know what I mean? Like that that's some. Technically, the mob could sue the government for doing something like that. that's insane. And then they let some white woman in some neighborhood put all that together. That's the craziest damn thing I ever heard of. Right. Analyzing from a different view. Start asking a lot of questions like why. Why? Start asking every little detail why. Hang 
you'll start getting different answers for different questions. Why? Why, why, why? Yeah, I don't get it. I, I had... I, I don't I don't get what happened. I came I came back to my home and, and, and I had I had left to do my research and came back to my home and, and these people in Muskegon didn't have anything to do with, with my research or me and they sat there and used their families and their children and their whole lives to scare the hell out of me and frame me. I don't I don't get it. Because they've been deceived, they've been told a, a big giant lie, a big story. What do they know? What are what why are they trying to pretend to be Mafia people, what are they doing? Who, who, who in the feds are they working? What's going on with these? These people are crazy. That's why you got to get off of Facebook. You got to watch everything that's being said now, because the, the, everything is going directly to the AI right now. Uh, that went in, I think, this week. Or last week, I lost track. But um, everything's going directly to the AI now, and of course they have, like they did with the um, the main core way back in Bush's era when this started. Uh, now that now it's going to the AI, so all keywords uh, with the new laws will get you thrown in jail or in nut house. Listen carefully. So we are no longer safe living on our own. So what I'm telling you, that's how severe it is. And it happened very quickly. This is the last month now. I want you to understand. Many things are taking place this month. This is a very crucial month for them. If we do not see any arrests by the end of this month, you know, this means that the inside government, inside the government, where these corrupt things are coming from, um, have too much control. It's almost time to have to run, to be honest with you. We are not safe living alone anymore. We are not safe anymore. It's true. We just got to put it together for what it is. And I'm not saying that what you're seeing is real. It's not. It's fake. What I'm seeing is fake. Okay? But the big picture is real. You got me on that? Mm-hmm. These are just actors. They're, they're just they're chewing what they're told, and they're just acting. And they're very bad actors, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I can actually get a, get a laugh out of most of it. Um, and when you get to a little questioning to these people, you realize how really dumb and ignorant and you know, out there they are. Um, a lot of them are drug addicts and alcoholics and, and actually very low in IQ. Uh, truthfully, this is true. And they just do what they're told, thinking that, you know, taking any authority figure at their word. And this is really what's happening. Many of them are just listening and acting like very bad actors and actresses, in my opinion. Very bad, very bad actors. <laughs> when you when you really get get to see it, and um, we have to be very alert, very alert, and uh, be looking up, not not down, up. Uh, and it's very clear in the Bible about that. So, I'm just saying. The more you get into the Bible and you get a good teacher, the more you kind of get the views of what's coming, the honest truth, you know? Right. Yeah, the government, the government, the government's the worst thing in, in the country. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. The government's terrible. You haven't seen anything yet. We were the test subjects. We were the guinea pigs. What's about to be unleashed is 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 what the real eye opener, baby. Boy, oh, the real eye opener. 
and the, the way they use these people just follow people around like they don't even know the people they just sit there and follow people around all day that's the craziest damn part because they've been, they've been lied to in a major way by very corrupt people. They don't have a clue. They're very bad actors. You know, they're fools. That's what it is. They're fools. Some of them are very evil, though. They have no soul. They don't care. So be very careful. Because amongst them are some really dangerous witches, warlocks, uh, alien demon beings. The truth. The truth is true. Your adversary is like a roaring lion for whom he may devour. And I don't talk about it, but my God has given me amazing visions that I, I am really dumb about. <laughs> he has shown me things that will blow your mind, but it's true. Um, there's many things that are happening right before our eyes that we don't recognize. They, they, we don't recognize them. We walk in ignorance. So we have to bow our knee to the Most High who knows what we're up against, who knows what we're looking at that we don't even see or know. We could be looking at a hologram. We could be looking at a demon. We can be looking at a real drone, a fake drone, a hologram. Who the hell knows what you're looking at? That's the time we're in. What dimension you're in? Okay? Is it an alien? Is it a demon? Is it a clone? Is it a human? Does it have a heart? Does it have no soul? What are we looking at? What are we being lied about to? What are we being told the truth? Only the Most High knows. And so we have to get in humbleness and mercy and full repentance before him and ask him to help us walk through this nightmare. We are walking right straight to the end of time, and it is horrific. And unless he, the almighty hands of God, can protect us, okay, we don't stand a chance because we walk in complete unknowing innocence, bottom line. If you got a heart, there you are. Right. Do we know what they got planned next? No, we don't. Only he does. So we have to get on our knees constantly and ask him to walk us through every step we take. Because they got plans and they don't stop. Day and night. They're killing babies and eating their hearts to have power through the blood. Disgusting. This is what they are. You have to you have to understand there's a lot of evil in this. Right. The most high knows who this this is, who they are, what they got going on. He knows. You wanna make it through? You want the mark of the most high? Then you better get on your knees in full repentance. Full repentance, whatever it is. I can guarantee you that every one of us, they have gone through everything in our lives and they have pulled out anything that they could have used, whether it be a hair on the floor. You know what I mean? As we walked through a crime scene and didn't know, that hair they're using against us. You understand? They have, they have, it's the devil, the, the, the accuser that doesn't stop morning and night. You understand? It's in the word. So they, they, these demons, okay, these people that worship demons, that worship entities, these, these, these uh, ancient ones, which are here now and are the heavy duty ones are coming in, babe. <laughs> you think you see shootings and killings? Wait, you haven't seen none yet. And so here we are, and they are manipulating what they can find through our brain algorithms, through our past, through somebody we knew, anything. And they're using and manipulating that to construe their next little uh, setup. 
And the Most High knows this. He knows this. Because the accuser goes to him morning, noon, and night on our behalf. Okay? It is Jesus and through his blood that stands in his way of getting getting us in hell. Do you understand? Mm. It is through his forgiveness and his blood that he shed for what we did wrong. So he doesn't, the devil needs to just be told to flee in the right. name of Jesus because he, he can't do that. So he's using people on the earth, in the world to do this. That's his game. He's got a game going and it's getting more intense. Okay. He's wearing down the saints like it says in the word. The saints will be wore down. Wore down. You feel worn down? Mm. Well, I don't get... Well, you should well, see what I look like. You should see what I look like. Okay, I went from five years ago, okay, functioning, 70 hours a week, you know, serving the Lord, doing doing everything I could. Okay, looking good, eating healthy, running legs, to flat down on my back for the rest of my life, struggling with health problems that and being hit over and over and over and lied to by doctors and sewn up and stitched up. <laughs> Until here I am just six years later. I mean, I'm talking more down. You're talking more now. But you see, you see, I know that that the power of God is much more bigger. In my falling, I learned that the power of God is much bigger than any force on this earth and anything they can do to you. And you have to recognize that every moment, and it's hard. It's hard when we see them driving around in new cars, getting new cars. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. God, God's going to take care of it. In a mighty way. It's coming. You just got to worry about you. Instead of trying to figure out all the little tricks of the enemy. Because that's what he wants. He wants to distract you. When you got to focus on worshiping God and what he's given you. Because he's given you everything you need to survive. Whether you realize that or not. You have survived all of this. And only by his hand have you survived it. So you have to recognize that. And worship him for who he is. And know that he's going to bring you all the way through to the end. And yes, we're going to see some really horrific things and go through some really horrific things. But he says that we, we, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be under his wing either way, no matter what we go through. Right. Nobody lives through the shit I've lived through. Nobody lives through. I've watched my enemies die. Not denying it was not the hand of God. Huh. He made that very clear. What they intended for me happened to them. And he made that very clear. Very clear. So I know my enemies are taken care of. I know the people that have been doing these things to me are suffering. And if they ain't suffering See. now... Woo. See, I just figured... I, I, I'm learning something about what's been going on. Because... Right up until the time, right up until the time that all this really started, like when, before I was being followed around with lights and all that stuff, these people were trying to scare me and making me think some sort of hit was going to happen in the neighborhood. They were, sure, they, were, yeah. they were probably trying to make me kill somebody or kill myself or something. And then when they, and then when, and when the government saw it wasn't going to happen, then they, then they decided to follow me around with lights. Hey, let me call you right back. Wait, wait.